Hello everybody, my name is Levy3Poop, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dual screen wallpaper for, uh, you know, for your computer just using GIMP. Now, GIMP is a totally free software, that's why I use it, because it's free and it does everything that I need it to. I suggest you download it if you're looking for a good image editing program, but anyways, enough about that, I'm not trying to advertise GIMP, let's just get into it. So, for your, uh, for your resolution, you're gonna wanna, okay, let's start from the beginning. You open GIMP, then you go to File, then you click New, and then it'll give you the option for image size. Now this is going to be your resolution. So you want it to match your screens. If you, you know, assuming your screens are set side by side, you're gonna wanna go two times the width and just one times the height. So if you have a 720p screen, your resolution is gonna be 2560 by 720. If you have a 1080p screen, your resolution is gonna be 3840 by 1080, which my screens are 1080, so I have it set to 3840 by 1080, because that's what I need. If you have a 1440p screen, your resolution is gonna be 5120 by 1440. And if you have a 4K screen, you're gonna be 7680 by 2160. So like I said, my screens are all, are both 1080p, so I have it set to 3840 by 1080 because I have them set side by side. So you, know, you open it up and it's like this, you zoom out and then you see, okay, that is about, you know, two times as wide as, you know, one single screen. It's about two times that aspect ratio. So you have, uh, you have this open up, then you go into your file explorer and you find, you know, the images that you want to be working with. So for me, I'm going to be making an Adventure Time wallpaper. So you just go ahead and drag your first image in and it doesn't really matter which order you drag it in. I just prefer to do mine like uh, whichever one's going to be on the left side, which is my monitor one. I like to do that one first, just my personal preference. So you take your picture and you drag it over to the left side. Now don't go all the way to the edge because we're gonna zoom in and do that very finely in a minute. Then you take your second picture, just drop it in, then drag it over to the right side. And just like the first one, don't go all the way to the edge because what we do is we zoom way, way in here and then go over to our left side there. Let me move this over so I can get this and then drag it up here. And, you know, let me just move this layers out of the way. Okay, so you see this right here is all, like if you were to just export this, you would have a little white line going around the edges here. So you just go ahead and move it on up and just be very careful not to go too far. So you just have it set to where like, cause we are so zoomed in here that this is one pixel right here and that's one pixel. So if we were to export this like this, uh, we would have one white pixel going all the way around, you know, the left side and top of the screen. So that's what we're doing here. We're getting rid of that little white pixel and you just drag it up and then go over to the other side and just do the same thing. Drag it up, be very careful not to go over. And you can see here we did not go over because we have just that one little pixel with that movement. And then to double check this, you can go into the middle of the image and that's gonna be right here with this little yellow line. And you can see there's no white pixel in the middle. So we know that both of them are perfectly edge to edge. We don't have any one single pixel going over or one single pixel too short. Well, to check that it's not too short or you know too far in the middle, you just go over here to the, uh, to the sides and check that there's no white pixels and there's not. And you can see going along the bottom here, there's no white pixel here. So we know it's not too high. And going across the top, there's no white pixel up there, so we know it's not too uh, too low. So then you can zoom out and you see, got Marcy's beautiful little house in her beautiful little cave. And then you just go ahead, save it, export it to wherever you want to. I'm not gonna do that because that's just unnecessary for this video. So just save it and then export it and then set it as your wallpaper. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, and also one thing while you're exporting the picture, because this is going to be a large image, I highly suggest saving it as a .png and then changing uh, and then changing this down here to all exported images so that way it doesn't have any conflict with saving it as a PNG because a JPEG is a compressed image and that will, uh, you know, it'll make it look really blurry and not that great. So a PNG is an uncompressed image. So here, let's go to our desktop, just click right click and do personalize, click browse, find the picture that you just made. So here's Marcy's house, choose that picture, and then just take a look at it. Obviously you can't see my second screen because OBS only captures screen one for me. That's how I have it set up and it can't capture two. So you just take a look at it, uh, you know, close anything else that you may have and just take a look around. 
everything looks great i don't see any little white pixels so that's it that is how to create a two screen wallpaper using obs so if you like the video be sure and like it if there's anything that i missed in the video be sure to leave it in the comments because i definitely do not mind helping you guys out at all in the comments you know if i if i was unclear then you know i need to help you guys out and you know fix that in the comments. So anyways, my name is Lovey3 Poop. This is how to make a two screen wallpaper using OBS. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see all of you in the next episode. Goodbye.